And I'm gonna do a little quick light bulb test here. So I did make this kind of quick for my battery here because I'm about to run out. But we had a fun, a fun uh, today. We did a few podcasts talking about smart meters. We talked about um, you know data logging. Talking about microwave frequencies. Talking about cell phones. Talking about Bluetooth. Talking about Wi-Fi. But this is actually my personal opinion is one of the biggest reasons why I'm finding that people are getting very crabby, very moody, and they really can't think very well because we are light beings. We put out light. So this is your. This is your. This is your. Uh, light bulb made by Edison. So come over here, if you don't mind. I want you to point this screen right here. See how this is straight? And when I when I turn this light bulb on, this wavelength should turn into it should match the six year sine wave because this runs on 120 volts. There's no switch more power supplies like an LED. We'll put that in a minute. So I'm gonna go and turn this on, and we have a little glitch. But let me go ahead and adjust this guy here. There we go. So you see how this is a perfect how it's flowing with the six hertz sine wave here. Sorry about a little bit of fuzz right now, but I got this kind of twisted, but you see how this goes a perfect flow with the six hertz sine wave. So the energy going through here is not corrupting. Then when it goes back to the substation, this is, I'm, I have this clamped around the neutral, the white wire. So a hot wire goes to the load, goes through here and it's picking up the, the, the sine wave as it goes through the light bulb back through the neutral. Okay, like you see here and I clamped. Now, I'm gonna turn it off. Now I'm gonna go take, I'm gonna clamp, let's go and take the, remember the CFL, the ones that supposed to say the polar bear that first came out, these have mercury in them. Watch what it does to the sine wave here. Look at that, looks like the green weeper. See, and that, that means it's corrupt in it, and we're just going to take the spectrum, spectrum view here. See how it's all spiky? So, it's like, so yeah, this is flickering. And all of these different uh, yellows and the blues, reds are flickering. Now, let me turn this off. Remember, straighten. Let's go back to the one by the uh, by by uh, who won the Edison made the one that's actually green because remember this it puts out heat, but we benefit in the summertime and wintertime from the heat. So it's not producing uh, wasted energy. We benefit in this in the wintertime. So it's about a 50 50. So in the U.S. I don't think you lose or gain by the heat. This is about, about neutral. Well, that's another LED. It's a different LED here. It's a different LED. Let me turn this one on. We got, see that piking around the 446? So these are spiking. It means it's flickering, pulsing in that 446 in the nanometer area. I'm going to go there and turn this back off. That's an LED. And let's go back to the one that Thomas Edison made, one that doesn't, doesn't have any um, Ill, Ill harm for its health. Let's turn this back on. So it goes back to normal there, six hertz sine wave. That's going. See, that's perfectly flow there. See that? That's how it's supposed to be. But all your LEDs, I don't care which one I've tested, not one is ever tested healthy. Now this is the very, very popular one here. This is actually made by uh, Satic a Pulse. I just had a meeting about this today. We on, on LEDs. I'm gonna go ahead and and uh, put this one in here. This is supposed to be a, a pretty good LED, but I'm gonna show you how it's, it might show low flicker, but it's still corrupting, cars causing dirty power in your, in your, um, in your, in the, your wiring. So turn this on. So again, that's actually tested out okay. I don't know what happened here. Let's see something here. Let's go back here. So this is static. Let me go and test this out here. It does pulse, but it's not too bad. I mean, I was actually I was surprised this one's tested as well. Sorry about my little guy here. He's getting a little bit kind of worn out. <laughs> He's kind of, there we go. So sometimes these things kind of play around with me here. Let's go back to the one that made by Edison again. Turn this one on. back on there we go see how nice and clean that is and back off there and right here let's go back to the one maybe a static usually I thought I used to see a little bit of a, a grim grim reaper spike in this thing but I'm not okay let's go back here 
There we go. So actually, the, the wave, the sine wave is pretty decent, but, and, but it does, it does uh, flicker a little bit. So it actually tests out pretty good compared to some. Let's go back to a traditional LED here. Another one. There you see how, look, look at that. See, it's all over the place like that. You can see the flicker real high up there. So I have to say the static actually uh, tested pretty good overall. It didn't mess up the sine wave that much, but it did flicker a little bit by using the spectrum view. Okay, that's it.